It's often said that astronomy is the oldest science. It was over 5,000 years ago that the Chinese first started observing the heavens, soon followed by other great civilizations, such as the Mesopotamians, the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Mayans. But the first to use a telescope for astronomical observations was Galileo. That was in 1609, exactly four centuries ago. Rapidly, the planets took on a new significance. No longer were they simply abstract images. Now, they seemed almost real and even showed similarities to Earth. And what remarkable progress we've made since then with ever more sophisticated ground telescopes. Space technologies capable of escaping Earth's atmosphere and probes traveling to neighboring planets. Right from the beginning of space technology's use in astronomy and exploration, Talas Alenia Space has been working at the cutting edge in programs helping to further humankind's understanding and knowledge. This advanced science is particularly topical at the moment as it's International Year of Astronomy and Talas Alenia Space is playing a leading role in a variety of ways with missions such as Coro, Herschel and Planck and Alma. From 2007, continuous observation for 150 days enabled the satellite Coro to discover and confirm two planets orbiting other stars outside our solar system. Coro XO3b, which is twice as heavy as lead, and Coro XO7b, which is the smallest exoplanet discovered to date, at just one and a half times the size of Earth. In May this year, the successful dual launch of the Herschel and Planck satellites provided Europe with two remarkable new astronomy tools. Planck will look back to the dawn of time, to the first moments of the universe, nearly 400,000 years after the Big Bang. This is possible thanks to the unprecedented cooling of its detectors to 0.1 degree above absolute zero. In the meantime, Herschel will be studying unexplored parts of space to help us to better understand the birth and evolution of stars and galaxies 10 billion years ago. We should start receiving the first results in several months' time, once the spacecraft have arrived at Lagrange Point L2. ALMA is one of the largest ground-based astronomy networks of the next few years. Leading the consortium, Talas Alenia Space will start installing 25 giant antennas in the Atacama Desert by the end of 2009. ALMA will have unrivaled observation capability in millimetre and sub-millimetre wavelengths, so from 2012 it will be able to detect new planets and the formation of new stars. Exploring the solar system is also high on the agenda, and Mars will undoubtedly be one of the most important exploration challenges of the next decade. Talazelenia Space brings its wealth of experience to the project, gained in particular through the Huygens program. In this mission, like Huygens, the most delicate phase will be achieving a soft landing. Well, we've certainly come a long way in 5,000 years. Yet despite our progress in understanding the universe that's our home, we're still lacking a clear answer to questions that we've been asking since the times of ancient Greece. Are we alone? Is there life on other planets? At Talisalenia Space, we're working together to help look for the answers. <laughs>